led into this presentation on was John Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams was the son of the second president of the United States, John Adams, and he was born in 1767 in Massachusetts. He was also alive during the War for Independence and it made him very fearful of being taken or killed. However, he was still taught in math, languages, and the classics by his parents, but mostly his mom. Later in life, he attended school in Paris, where he, was, where he learned to fence, trained in arts, learned music, and some dancing. He also accompanied Francis Dana in, at, as a translator and secretary for, uh, a, at just age 14, and from, 10 to, from age 10 to 17, um, learned about foreign issues and politics. Later in life, he also attended Harvard University and graduated in just two years, as he was very privileged. He, he got married to a beautiful woman named Lu Louisa Catherine Adams, and together they had four kids. He was a Federalist just like his father, and he was going up against a man named Andrew Jackson to be the sixth president of the United States of America. He eventually translated to the Whig Party as it was against people like Andrew Jackson. He ended up winning due to something known in history as a corrupt bargain, where he bribed this man named Aaron Burr to put in a good word for him to be president and made Aaron Burr the Secretary of State when he was president. He was president from 1825 to 1829, so one term, and he was mainly known for his Adams Onus Treaty, which was basically he gained Florida for the United States and renegotiated boundary lines. He also made a mistake of of the Tariff of Abominations, which was basically putting a tax on foreign goods. He was also involved in a case for slaves known as the Case of Amstead, where he, where he ended up winning, kind of showing how he was an abolitionist at heart. He also finished the Erie Canal, which was good for trading throughout the U.S., and wrote some of the first military training guides. As, as I said, he also closed up trade with Britain, which also which did not help because as Britain was the main source of finished products for the United States of America. During his time of presidency, education wasn't great, and women tended to wear big puffy dresses with vibrant colors, and men tended to wear suits and trousers. He, the main music at the time was pop folk and classics and classical music. A, main, a huge invention at the time, although invented 35 years ago, was a sewing machine. This was, even, even though it was older, it was still a necessary item in most households. To entertain yourself, you might attend a play, read novels, or go to something called a melodrama. Towards the end of his life, he, instead of retiring, he actually served until death in the House of Representatives, which was uncommon for most presidents. He ended up dying on February 13, 1848, um, and died of depression and cerebrovascular disease. He was buried in Norfolk County, Massachusetts. However, he lives on as some of the as setting some of the pre precedents for for being a strong supporter of one cause and of one cause party or person. Um, and remembered, he was also remembered for some of his original anti-slavery movements. And a weird fact about him is he liked to skinny dip in the Potomac River. That's my, this is, these are my sources, and thank you.